Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the all new Synchro Wave 212 by Miller Electric. Uh, so I just got my demo unit in. Uh, we're going to try it today in this video. We're going to go over its features, uh, show you all the settings on this thing because it's new to this unit. This is a brand new unit that came out. And uh, then we're also going to TIG weld aluminum with it, give it a shot, see how well it works. But just an overall look around at the machine. I mean, very nice, 56 pounds. Um, we've got a gas port in the back. You can, so there's three packages for this unit. This is the air-cooled unit with spool gun that we have. Uh, but, but they make just a regular air-cooled unit, and then they make an air-cooled unit with a spool gun, then they make a single wave 212 with a water cooler too. So it's a Coolmate 1S water cooler, so it's a one gallon, gallon water cooler that goes on the bottom, plugs into the back, um, and then you can, you gotta add on obviously a water cooled torch with all that stuff. But three packages. Um, so new to this unit here, pretty awesome. I'll show the inside first. So it's got a door, just like your 220s and that. But notice there's no wire here, right? TIG stick only machine, but we can put a spool gun on this. So this is just your, you can wrap up your leads, your TIG torch, and then it's got a little consumable storage pouch right there. Put all your stuff in, click shut. You got a lot of storage in there to put everything. Um, now this thing, just like the old 210, you can hook on that Spoolmate 150 and run aluminum wire in there. So this is our just our process page, um, but we got AC TIG, DC TIG, AC TIG lift arc, DC TIG lift arc, then we got DC stick, and then MIG spool gun. So we're just going to go into AC here. We're going to go to trigger. We got a foot pedal today. We can adjust our AC frequency. You just click on that, and notice it shows you a picture, a depiction of what what we're doing or what it's actually doing to the bead when you turn it up, as opposed to when you turn it down. So it gets wider and narrower there. We're going to go back to 120, and then we're going to go. So if you go back, you can change your balance, which is pretty awesome. Go up to 80, go down to 60. We're going to go to 75. That's the Pro Set feature. So when we get all, we got our tungsten, we can pick our size and what we're going to do. So recommended amperage gives you all that. So if you go back to home, this gives us our 135 amps. We can obviously adjust it, but all the way up to 212 amps and all the way down to 18 amps on AC. So the duty cycle on this unit is roughly um, 130 amps, 60% on 220. But if we go into, so you got our home button, now we go into auto set, we pick what we want. So TIG, stick, obviously spool gun. So auto set works with the spool gun. So we're gonna go TIG, we're gonna go pick your material, we'll go aluminum, we got eighth inch aluminum. Then we're gonna pick our joint. Um, we're just gonna do on plate, but what, you got it all the way down to coat pipe, pipe, pipe to the plate, outside corner T-joint edge but lap. We'll just pick a lap for right now. Our tungsten, 332nd, and then it gives us our selections. You're going to hit next. High frequency start. It tells us everything on that. Post flow, pretty awesome. Hit next. Tells us what our recommendations are for our cubic feet per hour, our cup size, and then what size filler material. And we're going to hit weld. So that's what our, when we hit auto set, that's what it gives us all our things. So you just tell it material size and it automatically sets it up for you. Pretty awesome now on the front of the machine as well too. You can see I got my TIG torch right there. It's a through the port gas. So you gotta have, just make sure you're in the right one else you won't get any gas. And then right here everyone was asking me what this thing was. So when you hook your spool gun up, that, that's where your trigger wire goes. It just has two of them, and then obviously our 14 pins for our foot pedal. But we'll get our foot pedal hooked up here. Now one question I get quite a bit, if you look close, there's a slot on that 14 pin connection. Same thing with wireless and corded. So it only goes on there one way. And a lot of people fight this thing, but if you just line up that slot, put it in, and then twist, you should be all set there, and we're all hooked up. So. We'll get our foot pedal laid out. I'll sharpen my tungsten here. Um, I got my gas hooked up. We're gonna give this thing a shot on AC. So uh, really, good. if you already have like a MIG welder, right, you can pretty much, this is a nice TIG welder to, in addition, but then you can also run that spool gun. So let's get it all set up and we'll, we'll get going. So I got everything set up here. We got some 4043 aluminum and I got some 
just a regular 6061, just some eighth inch plate here, just little coupons that we got cut out. Um, I set my flow meter for right around 25, 30, somewhere in there. Um, and I got a number eight gas cup with uh, our nozzle with a gas lens in there. We're gonna give it a shot. That's what it all came with. Um, now I've, I've welded with sinker waves in the past, old sinker waves. Uh, I just want to try and compare it to that with these new auto set features on there and see how it really runs. But air cooled torch, I just got to wrap around and give it a shot. laid down pretty nice beat. I've got a little cold at the beginning, but then it started to roll in there pretty good. Um, yeah, that typical, I mean, I, I, yeah, basically you're like your little sinker wave, but I mean, really, I, I welded a lot of dynasties, and so there, our auto set feature on the balance was at 75, which, yeah, it's spot on. I, I really like that. That's nice. Just the, the functionality of it, and I guess new new to this sinker wave is, is where it's actually showing you the depiction of all what, what you're actually doing to your arc when you change that balance, change that frequency, pick your tungsten, that sort of thing. It's showing you how it's changing and a lot of new nice technology in that. It's, it's really cool and I, I love that auto set because that's one of the biggest questions is what, what amperage do I run or you know, how, I guess you know what's my flow at, all this stuff. They get, get a lot of questions about that. I'm particular this size of aluminum or thicker, goes up to 3 16th aluminum and you can go all the way down to 20 gauge aluminum. So pretty, it's, it's nice. Love the settings like that because so even sometimes someone throws some thin stuff at me and I'm like, well, I don't even know what to set that at. But all in all, man, that's a nice little machine. I really like, I, I really do. That is, uh, well, it's really nice. Um, I know in our next upcoming videos, we're gonna try that spool gun out, show you how to set that up, hook it onto the front of the machine and then uh, kind of go from there. I, and I'd like to get a water cooler and try and set that up as well. And then we'll do a video on that just to show you how easy it is it's, or it's gonna be uh, to hook it all together. So if you're in the market for a TIG welder and you're, you're looking at all the options and everything, I mean, obviously the, the, this new technology on this one is pretty awesome. A couple of things it doesn't do though, you can't save memory. Um, you got to buy the card separately, but the memory thing, if you want to save memory, you got to jump up to a dynasty, and then that has the functionality to do that. Uh, one thing this will do, though, it will run 6010, so that's a new function on this thing. That's pretty awesome. A lot of people care about that. And, but yeah, if you got any questions, comments, leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for some more.